morning, Sunday morning, uh, Sunday the 29th, uh, 8.30 in the morning, been up an hour working, 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 um, Sunday's meant to be a day of rest, but <coughs> personally I, um, I just like to get a little bit done every day, three or four hours, days off, holidays, anything really it's just it just helps me uh, relax I think more than anything uh, so today consists of doing um done a little bit of admin done some rents doing a little bit of social media and then we are off out to do a couple of site visits so I'm going over to Belgrave we've just finished uh, updating the kitchen and bathroom so I need to set some new uh, rental listing images for them because uh, we got the property on the rental market and then did they yeah, then finished the kitchen and bathroom we just wanted to get it on to uh, get the interest in and then I think I've got maybe two more properties just to do and then hopefully around 12 1 uh, I'll be finished for the day and then it's just time to chill watch the football answer any messages on my phone it's really boring stuff really but these are the things that you've got to do when you're uh, working full-time in property and you've got a few different companies so see you soon Woo! we're on the road 9 30 oh, 9 25 in the morning sunday rest of the world's probably still in bed hungover having a cup breakfast and we're on our way to uh, Accrington it's all good some houses yeah that's the uh, that's the exciting life that I lead uh, I quite like going on a Sunday uh, doing a lot of property visits <coughs> roads are quiet no trades are on site so I can literally just get in get everything done that I need to get done and get back again so um Accrington today as i said before i'm going photographing a kitchen in one of the properties um in another property we've just done some damp proofing works and they've repainted it it's on the rental market but as i'm in Accrington, i thought i'd just nip in <coughs> and just check for any snagging works things like that And then I'm going Oswald Swissle, which I can't remember. I just I just put it on my uh, in my diary where I need to go and then get there and do whatever it is that I need to do. Uh, so big big part of my job is probably the renovation side of it. Um, so I, I pretty much do all the project management. Uh, planning the trades in. I photograph the rental listings. I like to, I like to photograph the the rental listings myself because it gives me another reason to go into the property then, and then I can um, again just go over it, uh, look for any bits of snagging and stuff. When we've got people on site, like the cleaners. Um, when we do viewings, things like that, we, we do always check for additional snags and things like that, but usually I, I'm the first one in the property when we've completed uh, Doom, so I do all the jobs list then. Then I'll visit the property <coughs> throughout the renovation, getting the next stage of works, obviously depending upon the what the properties have been done to it. And then I like to be pretty much the last person in the property before uh, tenants view it, potential tenants. So again, that, I can basically just make sure it's it's looking as it as it should do. Um, so that that's a big big part of my my sort of workload. Um, in a nutshell. I, on a normal sort of working day, if I do my sort of basic requirements, um, it's usually about three or four hours worth of work. So I get me the basic stuff done that has to be done every single day. 
get that out of the way, ticked off, and then I can look at maybe doing some other things, um, usually work related. Hang on, and Junction 7 coming off this one. Yeah, usually work related, so um, I do all the social media. Um, my cousin used to work for me for, uh, for a few months, he did it for me, but as I said, before he, he was also helping on sourcing and it went quiet obviously because interest rates are crazy so had to do that right I'm gonna have to come off I need the map now so I ain't got a clue where I'm going so I've just got to Russell Terrace let's have a little look So a little bit of touch up paint there. We've had some plastering done. So looks like we need to get the cleaners in. Tidy up the cabling. So we've, uh, there was bad damp there. So we've damp proof that section after the tenant moved out. In fact, I can see a little bit of damp there actually. You can always see best on cameras. So need to get that sorted. Oh, right, so hang on. Yeah, so that needs cleaning. So we're in our living room. Dining room. Probably needs a carpet clean as well, looking at it, it's dirty. Lovely kitchen in this one, really nice big one. Uh, our clients own this for quite a long time now. Yeah, it definitely needs a good clean, this. Just a little bits of snagging like, a bit of silicon. Probably some touch up painting here and there. Scrape that off. So this is why I like to visit the the properties, um, just so I can have a look, because the trades really do miss things. But yeah, it needs a full carpet clean, this one. Definitely. There was some damp there from a leaking gutter, which we fixed. Really, the curtain rail needs to come down. There's a missing light bulb. Yeah, bath needs a clean. There's a little bit of mould there. Well, not mould, but a bit of touching up required. So someone's got some paint on that at some point. Door needs painting. Yeah, remove the old blinds, fill these holes. So this is the sort of little thing I'll go around, probably replace that light bulb because it's an old style energy saving. We try and put brand new white LED bulbs in everything now. So what I'll do is I'll quickly go around, take a load of pictures. And then later on, I'll uh, get a jobs list together, get the trades booked in. Yeah, look, just, just little things like skirting board, needs to touch up painting, remove the old curtains. So just little things really, so the property looks better for when we, uh, we get some viewings. So off I go, get some pictures. We'll see you at the next property. So I've just got to Queen Street in Accrington now. Uh, so this is one that we've staged, as you can see. Uh, can't remember the layout. So this is a living room, dining room. And the kitchen, 
So we've uh, we kept the existing units and just put a, a brand new work top on because the other one was a little bit tired. Um, retiled around there, so it does need a little bit of just finishing off. <coughs> Got my uh, trusty camera for the rental images. got some waste that needs removing as well so um, booking with my waste guy comes around does all the waste removal for us little trip upstairs Ugh. and we did retile the bathroom so it just needs a bit of Silicone and whatnot finishing off. Retailed around there. Uh, what are we? We're a one, so we're a three bed here. Uh, so again, bedroom with the staging furniture. And then I'm Someone's obviously moved the towels when they was doing the tiling. So yeah, this is it. Uh, I'm going to photograph kitchen and bathroom for the rental listing because obviously we've now fitted the worktop and the tiling. <coughs> and then I'll just quickly whiz round and get some uh, some bits of snagging images. And then get someone on site this week just to finish off any little bits that I've picked up on. So that's property two out the way. So we've just got to Royal Grieve in Oswald Twistle. Uh, this property has had a ton of work. So it's had new kitchen, new bathroom. Uh, we had to do some <coughs> Sorry, some structural works there because the previous owners hadn't put a lintel in, so it resulted in um, the brickwork cracking. As you can see, the carpets are in. Um, tiling's done, so it's just a case now of putting the oven, hob extractor, all these sort of things in. Really good clean is obviously required. I can hear the boiler up and running. So probably just do a little bit of boxing in there just to make that look a little tidier. Replace light bulbs, need that covering. Move upstairs. I can hear the toilet running. So obviously that needs sorting. So bathroom has been retiled. So we just need the panel on, waste clearing out, shower fitting, a little bit of trim required there. How that's been missed, I've no idea, but that needs to come off. <sighs> So what are we? We are a one, two, three bedroom property this. So this is the bedroom. Moving into, this is the double room. And then radiator rehanging there. So what I'll do now is again, just cases I whiz through, get the next round of jobs together, uh, get it on a PDF for the lads, and then they'll come in and finish everything off, put the cleaners in, get the waste out the way. So as you can see, there's some waste in there. Oh. And get the garden cleared. It just needs needs the odd last bits and bobs. Oh, outside toilet. So yeah, this is uh, Raw Grieve. 
get this jobs list together and then I should be home within half an hour and then switch off for the day, kind of. Screw the gym. Screw 25 year old Joe with his massive superhuman body. And screw trying to be fit, because it's crap. 42, I'm knackered, and I did get a bit pissed last night, but hey ho, oh, right, so, <coughs> just about to hit Monday afternoon, it's quarter to 12 now, so I'm on my way back home from the gym, I'm just going to stop off at, a, oh, fucking speed bumps, just going to stop off at a couple of properties uh, as I'm passing. So one on New Church Road, which is on the rental market. Um, but I just wanted to have a quick scan over it. I'm sure there are a couple of odd jobs that needed doing. Uh, and then Wellington Terrace, which we've just done a damp proof on. Um, and that's on the rental market for its first viewings this weekend. So uh, I've got Matt scheduled in. I think Wednesday, Thursday this week to do whatever jobs that I pick up on today. So that's where I'm heading now. So I've just got to Wellington Terrace, uh, expecting these walls to have been skimmed for Matt to paint. And as you can clearly see, the plaster is only boarded and hasn't finished the job, which is massively frustrating because uh, we might be doing viewings this weekend so by the looks of things I'm gonna have to delay for another week as you can imagine this is a little bit um, annoying because there's a couple of jobs now where he's, he's meant to have skimmed and he's only boarded so we're behind on a couple of jobs <coughs> which is a bit frustrating obviously because there's a, a delay that we didn't really want but when you're dealing with third parties, I suppose it's not always um, something you can do about it. So uh, just WhatsApped him now, asking what the hell was going on. But reality is, even when he skims it this week, uh, we need to let it dry before we can do anything. So it's definitely going to have to be delayed till next week. So what I'll do is I'll pause the rental listing uh, when I get back to the office now and then uh, switch it back on at the weekend for viewings next Saturday. Great stuff. Well, just had a really annoying phone call uh, from Peter who does sourcing. This weekend alone, we've missed out on four client properties. Four this weekend. Really, really frustrating. They were all brilliant. But the... Uh, the agents have accepted offers, which is uh, a bit frustrating. Um, I think one of them was they didn't have any viewings when we tried getting in last week. <clears throat> so we were booked in for this week, then they've sold it. Another one, we've turned up for a viewing today. They sent us to a different property and then told us they'd sold the property that we wanted. Yeah, um, so the properties we mainly so source for our clients are sort of the sub 100, 100, gra 100 grand range, usually 80 under. Um, and this this section of the market is absolutely hot, hot as hell. Um, I know everyone seems to think that the property market is on its arse at the moment. But the reality is for us, um, the locations we work in and the, the purchase price range that we work in, it's it's the opposite. So last weekend, I think it were another two or three um, that we missed out on. This week, it's four. So 
one of the very frustrating sides of this at the moment. Uh, and there's some absolute bargains out there as well. It's absolutely nuts. But is what it is. Uh, we're just going to have to put some extra work in now and, and try and secure our clients uh, something similar. But some of these were absolutely really, really good. So there we go. Kicking nuts there. Eh? Um, also forgot to go to New Church Road, drove past it. It's a bit uh, a bit enthralled in a uh, an audio book, so I'll uh, try and nip, nip to that one as I drive past on my way to collect my lad later. So I think that we're quarter to one now, so I've got a couple of hours in the office, get some work done, and then on a Monday I pick my son up. So then that'll be me for the rest of the evening. So time to play catch up. Hopefully get some something sorted, as I said, for my clients this week. And uh, yeah, try and salvage a pretty shit day, really. A bit gutting, but Monday blues, eh? Such is life. It's now 10 past 8 on Tuesday um, and I'm on my way to the gym. Uh, on my way though, I'm going to stop at uh, Prospect Avenue because luckily there's, um, there's a few houses near where I live at the minute <coughs> that we're doing so it makes, makes it a bit easier just to nip by. Uh, I've got to go around and look at the what work needs doing for the plastering. So that's what I am on with now. Um, managed to get a full day sort of work done that I need to get done. So I've mentioned before that I have like a basic sort of task that I must do every day. So managed to get that done within an hour and a bit, which is really good going actually. Uh, probably because I, I did end up working late yesterday and ticked a few bits off. Uh, after the gym it's physio because I'm a decrepit old man uh, had back issues for 20 odd years so still working my way through that gym probably doesn't help but it's that tie up keep fit sell my ass so yeah I'm gonna <coughs> nip to prospect now nip to the gym nip to physio and then Tuesday afternoons are traditionally when I have my afternoon off. So I try not to do anything on the Tuesday afternoon. Uh, but I've got a client call at 1pm because tomorrow uh, I've got a client visit. It's coming looking at some houses. So uh, yeah, I do that. And then hopefully I'll uh, sort of stop work at about 2 o'clock and try and sort of let me head clear. Whether or not I do that though, I say this and then I end up working. Uh, I kind of can't help myself. But we'll see, see if I can force myself a bit of uh, an afternoon off. Well, here we are at Prospect. See a nice pile of shit there. Uh, so yeah, I'm on site today, as, as I just mentioned, to work out what's needed for the plaster inside. Uh, we've removed a kitchen wall there and opened up, so we're going to have um, an open plan kitchen, living space, so uh, cooker, fridge freezer, sink, bit of cupboards. And then I think there's some units going across here uh, just to open it up. So yeah, you can see all that needs plastering. Uh, with this property, we've done kitchen, bathroom. We've created a new bathroom. 
So you can see here, uh, that's a brand new stairway because uh, the old attic steps were literally like bloody that, they were a nightmare. <coughs> and the bathroom was up in the attic, it's crazy. So what I've done is we, this was originally one big bedroom. So we've split the bedroom, created this space for the, for the bathroom. Then you've obviously got this as a bedroom. This is a bedroom that was already here. Uh, and then this was the existing toilet, which we're gonna keep. Oh, I've not been here since these stairs have been in. Much better. Sure, I'm leaving it nice and safe. Yeah, and then there was a there was a wall going across here and a bathroom in there. So now we've just got this massive uh, bedroom, which is yeah, it's going to be a really good sized property. There, so let me close that because it's going to rain. So need to get someone in to clear all this waste downstairs. Uh, I'll get Matt on site. I'll get him just to pop a, a board over that so it's safe. And then my job now as I'm here is to literally just go around and get all photographs of all the stuff that needs plastering. Uh, initially plastering, because we might need a couple of attempts looking at, because I probably need to set this bit of ceiling down and landlords want it insulating as well. But if I can get the main boarding done, uh, then I can crack on. Yeah, I think the best bet will be to get the main new walls boarded out. So here, uh, and skimmed. Then come back. So you've got stuff like this that needs pulling down. Oh, it's got damaged. Then come back and do another, another skims worth. So I'll go through now, uh, get me photographs, and then it's off to the gym. Well, just had a client call, uh, been physio, which hurts, the pain's unreal. Uh, just had a client call with uh, a lad who's coming round tomorrow to spend the afternoon with me, see some houses, see what we do, uh, things like that. And uh, a strange turn of events, I've actually left my laptop at home, so I'm at the, the missus now, so I'm actually being forced to have an afternoon off. Ah! crazy so uh try to do a bit of work on my phone but the reality is um you can't get much done on your phone so i'm being forced to sit down fires on and watch some telly so i'm gonna take it have a chill and then get up crack it on tomorrow drive back home pick my laptop up do some work and then go out with the client so all clouds have silver linings as well